So for today, we're going to be updating the tier list. So if you guys don't know, I made some tier lists for the dungeon armor set, the raid armor sets, and the season pass armor sets. We're going to be including iron banner armor sets. And this is going to be really funny because apparently I had a lot of hot takes in those videos. And this is going to be different from the last videos. These are going to be a little bit longer because the last tier list, I really didn't like, like the fact that I rated them based off of all of the armor. And to be honest, a lot of the armor for individual classes are better than others. So for specifically, we're going to be talking about like, so for example, from G Grasp of Avarice, I personally think the Hunters has probably the worst armor while the Warlocks have the best armor. And I didn't feel right putting that an S when again, the Hunters have an ass set for that. So for this one, we're going to be doing uh, Hunters first, then Titans and then Warlocks. And then at the end, we're going to be looking at does the does the raid armor or does the dungeon armor does this armor really encapsulate the dungeon itself if i look at the armor will i think oh shit that's a hive themed uh dungeon or uh if, if, like this enemy type dungeon you're gonna be surprised how many fail this test because i think it's only two that is it two i don't even know at this point so let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys coming up to this one. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell notification if you guys want to keep up to date with my current content because I do think my content is worth it. Other than that, please be patient with me. I know, I know I'm going to have some hot takes in this one, but please be nice to me because I think a lot of what I'm about to say is just factual because a lot of the things that I, I look at is just, is this armor going to be really useful for me? Not only is it, does it look cool, but is it going to be useful for me and does it shade her terribly? So to start off, let me show you the old tier list first, uh, just to really show you what the tier list was before. So I ended up having duality at S tier and I, I feel kind of comfortable with that one. The one I don't feel comfortable is Grasp of Avarice. Uh, <clears throat> now, looking back, I definitely don't feel comfortable having the Spire of the Watcher armor at A tier. And then for the other ones, I'm pretty comfortable with it. Um, we will get into it because I do think it's important to talk about the B places. So this is the new layout. We have S tier A, B, S slash ass, and then D, which should just be ass. So this one, actually, this one shouldn't be ass. This one, no, it should be ass. So let's talk about it. First and foremost, this one exists because of this one right here. We'll talk about that when we get to it because we're going to do it in order. So. First and foremost, we're going to be talking about prophecy armor. Now, I feel kind of bad because this armor is not dungeon armor, but you can get it in the dungeon, which is problematic because I'm pretty sure there's other armor sets you can get within the dungeons. Maybe if I'm wrong, I probably am wrong. But for prophecy, let's talk about hunters versus hunters. I think it's a I'm going to be honest with you guys for hunters. It's going to be a specifically because I end up using the helmet and the cloak more often than you think um i literally have one of my favorite sets with that helmet the arms can be utilized in so cool so many cool pieces the boots as well i think the chest piece is the only problematic piece because there's like an off-white that doesn't change color and obviously the data or dado dado uh symbol doesn't change color as well and that's gonna be a problem for not only the hunters but the titans are the titans and warlocks as well but the Hunters, I think it has the most variety when it comes to the armor. That being said, I think the Titans also has a lot of variety. The Warlocks, I think, is the weakest one, but we will get to that when we get to that. And yeah, I think A tier is not that hard for this one. It's just, again, you would have to go like you have to go around the shadering, which I know some people might say, well, what about this armor? We'll talk about that armor when we talk about it. This one, um, you know what? I'm going to add a new one, which is slash um, not not actually actually dungeon armor there we go all right so it goes right here because it's not dungeon armor if you guys want to know if, oh what would the placement be i would probably put it at b if we had a c tier it'd probably go at c tier if i'm being quite honest actually you know what i could actually do that because you know what we probably will not have an ass tier. This is the only one that's going to be an ass tier. So that's pretty much where I would put this one, just because there are some cool pieces that you can use. The arms are really cool. The helmet's pretty dope. The cloak I can definitely use in certain pieces, and the boot, uh, boots and the chest piece, unfortunately, are super close to 
uh, some world drop and the crucible armor set from year one that makes sense though a lot of the armor from destiny 2 vanilla was rearranged in a lot of sets like the boots alone i've seen in like four sets same thing the chest piece i think is in three sets or four actually four sets if i'm no five so i could probably do that one day go through like the history of d2 armor vanilla because there's a lot of funny armor sets that have a lot of reskins so let me know what you guys think about this placement so far We're, we'll get to this one i know some people are really fuming right now but calm down i'll explain to you why for the grasp of avarice i will put it at b tier unfortunately i know some people are going to be wild and hearing me putting prophecy before grasp my biggest issue with grasp of avarice for hunters specifically for hunters is the fact that everything is asymmetrical and it's not the best hive theme piece in my opinion it's pretty terrible um and i know some people oh, it's not hive themed it's a uh, it's thorn themed it doesn't matter you get what I'm, you get my drift like it doesn't it it's probably the shittiest armor in that in that uh dungeon if i'm being honest like the cloak is the only thing that really helps it and even then it doesn't help it that much because the arms are asymmetrical i'm gonna be honest everything but the helmet is asymmetrical so that's why i put it at b tier for oh for spire of the watcher it's still gonna be an s tier i think this armor is amazing i think the chest piece is super dope i think the boots are super dope i think the cloak is super dope the, even the fucking helmet is cool to a certain extent i've seen some people do some cool things with it and i think the arms are the only thing that i'm like kind of like oh, it it's whatever it's, it's the left side i'm not a big fan of i'll hopefully have the armor set while i'm talking about it but yeah it's the left side that i'm just not the biggest fan of i think the left side pretty terrible but I mean, everything else looks so cool. Definitely utilizes in a tactical set because that's when it becomes really, really useful. For wait, was did I say Spire of the Watcher for this? No, this is a duality. My bad. Uh, this is Spire of du of a uh, Spire of Duality. This is Spire of the Watcher. This also goes in S tier. I think this is amazing. I would actually put it right here because I think this is the best armor. Not only because it looks cool, it's cowboy themed, but the cloak carries this armor hard. But even then, the boots are super good. The helmet is super cool. The arms are super cool. I think the only piece that's like lacking is the chest piece. And even then, I've seen people do cool things with it. So it's like me personally, Hunters, S tier easily, easily Spire the Watchers, like easily the best armor set in the game for me, for dungeon armor specifically, because it's so easy to put in other sets. Now, we get to the roughest one, in my opinion, because Warlord's Ruin, I would put at S tier right here. And I know some people are going to be wilding, but remember, this is not a tier list of how the armor... Well, to be fair, a lot of people really don't like this armor set because they're... A lot of, I've had people tell me that this looks like blue armor, which is wild. This does not look like blue armor. This looks way better than blue armor, but I understand why you would think that so let me explain i really love all of this i think there is no bad piece in this whole set with maybe the arms are the bad piece but even then i could still utilize it like the cloak is really good the boots is really good the chest piece is really good and the helmet is really cool i've made i made example sets for all of these armor sets you guys can check it out they all look amazing and yeah I, honestly I stick I stick with this uh with this tier list. I think all, all of these are really really good in their own right. <sighs> Let's talk about this armor set. So Ghost of the Deep is one of the best, and I mean like I don't want you to mishear me. Ghost of the Deep is one of the best hive themed pieces we've ever gotten. Ever. It is the best armor in the game for hive. If you want to make a hive themed piece, you definitely want Ghost of the Deep armor. That being said, now we're going to the ass tier because this, the, what I just said was S tier. The ass tier is the fact that it shaders absolutely terribly. So it has an overglow to it, which means over the armor, there's a glow. You can't change the, like you can turn it off with certain shaders. You can definitely change the color of it. It's just good luck having those shaders because a lot of the shaders are from year one and a lot of those shaders are from Eververse as well. And one of them is from a season pass, which you can't even get anymore. So good luck trying to either turn off the glow 
or making this set go with other armor pieces because if you do it if you do like the thing where everyone does where they just use the whole armor set with an exotic then i mean good on you you're not gonna fight you're not gonna have like an annoying time with it like i do but you also shouldn't ask someone if your look is fresh because they're gonna just be most of the time they're gonna be like you just have a whole armor set like how why do you look fresh i mean the armor is fresh but like no I don't know. I don't. I don't want to sound negative or sound like I'm punching down or anything. But like, when it comes to like wearing an armor set, that's literally the reaction people should have. Because, do you look cool? Yeah, the Destiny team really killed it with that armor set. But like, don't ask me if you look fresh when I see other people making some dope stuff. Like, I'm not asking you to do have individual set pieces and then individual shaders. I'm just saying like, try a little harder. But that is why this is an s slash s tier because it is one of the best hive theme pieces but it has one of the biggest disabilities i've seen just the fact that you can't change the shader of it is just such a massive l in my opinion like this armor would be probably the best dungeon armor not even the best dungeon armor the best armor for hive in the game if we had the ability to turn off the glow if we had the ability to turn off the glow or have it like inverted so that way the bone like in between the bones you would see the glow i think that would have been way cooler but because it's like this that's why it's in the s slash ass tier so let me know what you guys think about this tier list for the hunters this is important for hunters so titans for you guys it's going to be the same thing for a few for this one it's going to still stay there for this one it's still going to stay there for this one i'm going to be honest i think i'm still going to put it at a tier the chest piece is probably the only really terrible piece because there's like stripes in there that doesn't change color there's also some other things that don't change color but the boots the arms the helmet and the cloak or the mark is going to be the best pieces from this whole set like it's super super dope and very very much i like utilize some of these pieces a lot so especially the mark the mark i use quite a bit the boots i've started to use for like mecha themes and then the arms i've used for quite a few things as well for the Grasp of Avarice stuff, I'm actually going to put it at A tier specifically, just because I think the boots really carry this armor set. But even then, I think the arms are super dope. They're not they're not symmetrical. They're, they're a little bit asymmetrical, but they're still pretty good. The mark is really cool. Um, a little boring, mind you, but it's still better than... Actually, no, the Hunters is pretty good. No, you know what? It is the weakest, it is the weakest class item. I was about to say the Warlocks, but the Warlocks is really good as well. Um... Yeah, I think the boots really carry this armor set for me and the arms as well because the chest piece isn't bad. I just feel like it's too empty and the helmet, I think, is terrible for this one. I would say S tier easily the boots, chest piece and helmet easily carry this armor set. And I even think the mark is pretty cool. The arms are pretty terrible, just like the hunters, but i don't even have to explain it like the helmet i use a lot the chest piece i use a lot and then the boots i use a lot the only negative is the fact that the boots take off colors but even then like i can work around that for this armor set i will um i'll put it at s tier just because the helmet carries this a lot but i also really like the boots the mark the arms the chest piece even like all of it i've utilized in sets before so i actually think this is the strongest armor set when it comes to this armor specifically like hunters i really like a lot but the chest piece i'm not a fan of for the titans all of it i use a lot like not even i'm not even kidding like the arms i use a lot the chest piece i use a lot the boots i use a lot and then the mark and the helmet i've used so many times so definitely I would probably do this actually just because again this one I utilize in so many pieces this one oh man dude this is gonna be rough and I can already hear the comments yep it's gonna have to be like this just because again like for me the helmet chest piece boots arms and the mark I use it all so it actually should be like this because Again, I use a lot of these pieces for a lot of sets. So unfortunately, you might hate me if and I've I've not been like I have not kept this a secret that I really like tactical sets. So for you to see tactical sets up here, it's my, well, this is tactical, but I can use it for tactical sets. Um, shouldn't surprise anyone, especially if you've been in my channel for a long time. If it's a tactical set, I'm going to love it a lot, which when we get to the season pass armor, oh boy, jolly man, people are going to get mad. 
but this is pretty much it on titans let me know what you guys think about this warlocks last but not least it is you guys same thing i don't have to explain this let me change this real quick um I pretty much explained my whole thought process on the Taken King armor set, which is why I didn't talk about it with the Titans, which is why we're not going to talk about it for the Warlocks, because again, I think it's one of the best armor sets for high for all of the classes, not just the Hunters, all the classes. It's amazing. It just shaders really shitty. But this one's going to go here again, uh, mostly because I don't really want to talk about an armor set that's not a dungeon specific armor set. This is from... Uh, I didn't even th I don't even think I said where this is from, but this is from the Destiny One or Destiny Two Vanilla um, tr Trials, essentially. For those of you who don't know, this is essentially what it was for Trial, like the that version of Trials, which was a uh, uh, Trials of the Nine, I think it was called. Which man, some of that armor needs to come back. Some of that armor was super dope, but Warlocks um, C, it's not good it really is not good actually i would put it in ass tier it's really that like it's really terrible um the reason no i was gonna say the reason i don't want to put it in ass no it is ass uh the helmet i think is the only good part and the white does not change color or the visor um i should probably say that for all the classes but even then i couldn't work around the other two this one the visor doesn't change color and the white doesn't change color granted warlocks would probably give me shit for that because the hunters has the same problem but I can work around the hunter one. The warlock one's a little bit more hard. Um, chest piece, I think is pretty terrible. Shaders really, really bad. The arms shaders um, asymmetrically, which is really terrible. Boots, really terrible. Uh, bond, really terrible. I'm sorry. This armor for warlocks is absolutely trash. Never use it. This one, easily S tier, bro. This is one of the best hive theme pieces aside from this one <clears throat> in the game. The helmet, I think, is actually very usable. The bond, I love to death. The arms, chest piece, boots, all of it is fucking amazing. Easily S tier. This is not even going to leave. This is going to be the first one because that's how good this armor set is. Then we get to this one, A tier. I think it's fine. I think it's pretty good. I think the chest piece is really good. I think the arms are really cool. But the boots look really weird. The bond is boring. And the helmet is... Like every other helmet that warlocks get, which is essentially a fucking like a like a visor in the front. That's like that's it. Like it's not that great. It's not as good as the other two. Granted, that chest piece is so good. I do want to put it in S tier, but I can't really ignore the other pieces, which is just like it's not that great. Like it's very like that one. It's not even tactical because that one's more like fucking juggernaut, which is cool, which I've made that set before. But that's just how I feel about that armor set. This, however, oh man, um, I'll put it at A tier. Uh, so, so this is the reason why this wasn't at S tier for the last tier list because the warlock armor really degraded that like tier for me because I'm not the biggest fan of the chest piece. The boobs look like they're pointing two different directions, which is hilarious to me. I think the arms are pretty terrible. I think the boots are decent. I think the bond's boring and I think the helmet was the only thing where I was like, it's good. But at the same time, you look like Pinhead Larry, which I still have that in my head. Have I made some cool sets with the helmet? Of course I have. It's amazing. It's just, again, I can't get rid of the fucking Patrick Pinhead Larry type thing. So it's just, it is what it is. Let me know what you guys think. And then we get to this armor, which I think is X here. Um, I think the chest piece is amazing. I think the helmet's pretty cool. I think the arms are super dope. I think the boots are super dope. Hell, I think the bond is pretty cool too. So I definitely like this armor set a lot, a lot more than most warlocks will, granted. But I still think it's one of the better sets that we've gotten. So let me know what you guys think. I know this tier list is going to be weird for a lot of people, specifically all of them. But let's get into the <laughs> the last thing which I talked about, which is going to be hilarious because uh, when it comes to like dungeon specific. This is where it gets kind of funny because it's only going to be like two that it really hit the mark for me. And then everything else is going to be just not good. So here is the tier list. Um, obviously, Grasp of Avarice hit, did a really good job. I would actually put it at B. It did a really good job, but it's not really specific to that dungeon. So me putting that at S is technically not fair. 
And then these just don't have anything to do with the dungeon that they're on there in. This one is supposed to be a knight themed dungeon. This one is supposed to be a cabal theme armor. This one is supposed to be a hot or not hive, uh, a vex themed armor. And this honestly would probably be up there. Like it doesn't fit, but it's also like not that it wasn't supposed to be. Well, this one was, but this one wasn't supposed to be the dungeon armor. This was supposed to be a uh, Everest armor, if I remember correctly. So it's like this for me. Uh, a lot of this does not fit the dungeon. So this was just more fun. Let me know what you guys think about the tier list. I know this video was a little bit longer, specifically for hunters. Um, and then tight in the world, you guys got a little shorter just because I realized how much time I did, made for the hunters. And I was like, okay, I need to shorten this to not make it super long. So hopefully it wasn't too long. I will have timestamps so that way you guys can see just everything. So that way, if you guys just want to see the tier list, then welcome. Let me know what you guys thought about the tier list because I know some people are going to be wild. And so let me know what you guys think. Appreciate it. Remember, I'm going to be doing the raid armor, the, t the season pass armor, and then the iron banner armor as well. So stay looking out for those. I appreciate, uh, appreciate y'all. Be safe. I will see you guys later.